Now, this is something you might not have given a whole lot of thought to, but how safe is your car when you hand it over to valet parking? Well, Lisa Guerrero valet parked and they gave her car to someone else. When Josh Gelly was finished having dinner at one of his favorite restaurants, he never expected this. I came out of the restaurant that night and the valet notified me that my car had been given to someone else. That's right. While Josh was having his meal inside Joe's Crab Shack in Newport Beach, California, the valet gave away his car to a thief. I pretty much just got in his face and screamed and yelled and I said, what, you know, what, what the heck? How can you give a car away that I have a slip right here for? So just how safe is your car when you leave it at a valet? To find out, we rented luxury cars and put some valet companies to the test. Our first stop was the Roosevelt Field Mall in Long Island, New York. Hi, how are you? Hi, good. I rolled up driving a $40,000 Mercedes. Oh, I'll give you this ticket for you. Great, thank you. Perfect. Please leave the key inside. Then the valet zips off with the car. Two hours later, my producer, Charlie McLaravy, showed up to see if he could pick up the car without a ticket. I need to pick up my car. This is a black Mercedes. Did he give you a tag? I must have left it in the store or something. Well, I don't know how I'm going to get the car without the... It's the, just the black Mercedes over there. Are you sure? Yeah. And just like that, the valet went running off to retrieve the car. Thanks a lot, man. What do I owe you? It's uh, $7. For just $7, Charlie just stole my Mercedes. Unbelievable. Can I have my key back? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this is what went down at this valet stand at the Cherry Hill Mall near Philadelphia. That's for you, and I just need a first Thank name. you. Lisa. Lisa, awesome. Two hours later, Charlie came strolling back. I need to pick up my car. It's the black Mercedes right there. He never asks if Charlie has a ticket. Instead, he actually offers up my name. It's Lisa, right? I think so, yeah. Just like that, he runs off to retrieve the car. That's it. That's the one. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. You got my car again. Here we are again. It's almost too easy. The valet was stunned when I came back looking for my car. And I'd like to pick up my car. It's a black Mercedes. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let me go get it for you real quick. Thank you. I think your husband took it. I don't have a husband. Lonnie Reynolds of American Limo and Parking says there's an easy fix to the problem of car thefts at valet parking. If somebody claims to have lost a ticket, valets just need to check out the story before turning over the car. I'll take the person over the board and say, can you spot the keys? And usually they can't recognize the keys because they've never seen the keys. So if you were a car thief, you would have had a pretty easy day. It would have been in the blink of an eye, it would have been gone. Unbelievable. Experts say if somebody shows up without a claim ticket, obviously the valet should ask to see a driver's license to see if it matches up with the car registration. And by the way, the valet companies at those malls we visited and the restaurants are all independently operated.